Next comic, make some noise for Jason Real, everybody. Jason Real. What's up, Atlanta? It's the farthest away from home I've ever been. Before that was Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Home of the great Dollywood. You been there? First time I went there as a kid, I didn't get to ride any of the rides because my dad was too big and he couldn't fit in them. But don't feel bad for me because where we went after that was probably more fun anyways. That's right, we went to the Bush's Baked Bean Factory. Yeah. And although there's no roller coasters there, there are a lot of conveyor belts. And if you think about it, that's sort of like a roller coaster for a bean. There's a lot of twists and turns and drops. And if you'd seen my dad's face there, you would have thought he was at an amusement park. They have a museum you can go into. And uh, I've never seen him happier than when he stepped on the scale and it converted his weight to beans. Uh, you guys, it told him he weighed two million beans. That's a lot of fucking, you know how many beans you have to eat? You have to eat more than two million beans to weigh two million beans. Ah, oh, dude, I love that place. That's why I preferred the fair though, you know? They didn't give a shit about your safety. You could just ride whatever you wanted. They let me and my dad hop up on there. This big ass slide. He weighed about 500 pounds for those of you who didn't do the conversions. And we rode down that shit and that's the first time I'd ever seen anyone who worked at the fair concerned for anyone's safety. <laughs> like, get out of the way! Then they let us go right back up again. It was fucking awesome. <laughs> yeah. Nah, my town's small, man. It's small. It's wild. You guys remember those fundraisers that they did in school? Ours was, if you sold enough candy bars, you got to ride in the back of a Hummer limousine. Oh, yeah. So it's not just a white trash thing. I... <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Everybody wants to ride in a fucking Hummer, dude. Everybody. How did that shit happen? Because as a kid, my parents are like, Stay away from the long white van driven by a stranger. And now they're like, you guys really want to ride in this long white van driven by a stranger. They were like, get in the van, we have candy. And now they're like, if you sell candy, you can get in the van. <laughs> right? You know how many kids got to ride in that in my school? One. That's the saddest fucking Hummer light ride that's ever happened. You know, that's not, that's not a limo anymore, that's a hearse. And he was on his funeral procession to the death of his hopes and dreams. You're supposed to, it's supposed to be a party. People are supposed to be drinking champagne, dancing, making out. And it was just him and the principal who was making out with the guidance counselor, Leonard Skinner. <laughs> they did take him to Little Caesars though and let him get one of those hot and ready pizzas. But by the time he got back, things had gotten hot and heavy. So they made him ride in the front. <laughs> He's just sitting there eating his pizza and he hears a tap on the glass. So the driver rolls the window down between the two you know, sections. And the principal pokes his head out through the window and says, don't get pizza sauce on the seats either. I thought that would do a lot better. <laughs> but I didn't get to ride in it. Uh, he actually sold enough candy bars because he went door to door in his neighborhood. And I couldn't do that because everyone in my neighborhood was on meth. <laughs> Which is an appetite suppressant. <laughs> you know how hard it is to sell candy bars to people that aren't hungry? That's like trying to sell condoms to lesbians. <laughs> I'm Jason Real, you guys. Peace out. Hell yeah, give it up for Jason one more time. Hell yeah, dude. Keep this fucking thing going.